We've really reached a tipping point in our country, um, really over the last few years, especially in um, a shortage of housing, um, specifically workforce or attainable housing, which uh, for us, that definition means kind of 80 to 120% of the AMI, the area median income. So Fading West really came into existence um, to help solve that problem using the innovative uh, method of manufacturing homes in a factory and using um, principles, uh, lean principles that you would find in, let's say, a Toyota car manufacturing plant. So um, there's numerous advantages to building indoors. One is we have created a system that allows the homes to move every four hours. Thus, houses are being built in, like I said, between five and seven days. Um, a typical site-built um, home has 30% waste. We're at about 3% waste, so a radical reduction of waste. We can build year-round in a place like Colorado that um, where the ground's frozen or it's cold outside. That allows us to keep um, building throughout the year. Um, and um, high quality too. Um, we're all building together so we see exactly what is happening from station to station. This is a 3D printed home made entirely of concrete and we print layer by layer utilizing a CAD file that we slice just like your desktop 3D printer and we're able to make different designs with it, more curved walls, it has an organic shape to it and we're able to build very high efficiency, highly structural, stable, stable buildings um, for you know, individuals who want this type of technology. Just 3D printing and construction robotics is just a piece of what's going to be happening in the future. Robots are going to be building our homes along with everything else that we're likely going to be doing. But the difference is, is construction is the most important industry in the world because it supports every other industry. So we need to quickly develop the automated processes so that we can build faster and stronger and higher quality structures. And robotics can do that with the lack of labor and resources we have available. So um, we see this as one of the pieces to the puzzle in helping solve the affordable housing crisis in our country. Um, one of the things that we urge is um, states and both the state and federal government to put money into building factories such as this. Um, let's say, so if you put in 10 to 20 million to build a factory such as this, then you could build 500 homes a year for the next 25 years rather than focus just on specific, putting money for specific projects. So again, the repeatability of this makes perfect sense for 
the shortage in workforce housing in our country.